Welcome to my project ideas. This is an ongoing series on SAP UI5 projects. And in this particular video, we'll learn how to do multiple upload of multiple files simultaneously in SAP UI5. This is approach is also called as async multiple upload files. So certainly you will need to have basic knowledge of JavaScript, basic knowledge of SAP UI5 and IDE access. You can use Web IDE or Business Application Studio for the development. Before jumping into the actual coding, you can go through this particular article. We'll provide the link of the article in the video description. So here you can learn all the theoretical part like the difference between sync and async file uploads. The view code, controller code and output, all that we are going to show in this video are already shared here. So you can just copy and paste the code and you know, get started with the development. Perfect. So we'll also give a small demo of the functionality that we have developed. So we have used something called file uploader and also we have something called text area for you know getting the messages. So when you send a lot of files, you will get a different type of messages, right? So the messages can be you know success message, error message or information or warning something from backend. So it can be different type of messages. The right approach is to use popover message you know to cache them and show them in category wise so for that also we have created a different video we'll uh, also share the link of the you know that particular video in the description but before that we'll just uh, try to perform some actions here so for your basic understanding to check if particular call is sync or async you when whenever you you know start with the process you will see that uh, the files are sent all together in the network tab. So that's why we have opened up the network tab here and I will just uh, drag and drop two files Fine so As of now nothing is going on and what I will do is like I will click these two all together I will move this tab within this one And I will click on upload selected. So once I will click upload selected, what will happen is like two calls will go into the backend all together. You see, two calls are going all together, and both of them failed because we have uh, not integrated the backend within the UI. So that's why I got two different errors. You know, the bad method one and also the bad method two. So two errors are coming here. So the part is like where you actually understand this uh, idea of sending multiple upload files all together is the network part so here we cache them all together in case it is a sync call the upload will be one by one so one will go and fail or succeed then another will go and fail and succeed so the basic idea of using a, a sync method is like uh, you want to improve the efficiency of the ui you want to have multiple calls going into the backend all together and doing their own you know performance and getting back the required data so if you have used facebook you might have seen that message tab is doing its own job then feed is doing its own job and then in the next uh, left pane you have friend list search bar so all of them are doing it their own job and they have their own you know backend services so all calls are going all together in parallel so it is very good to use them in case you want to perform a lot of queries all together and these queries are of low sizes it's uh, like uh, you cannot send multiple heavy files to the backend using this particular theory reason being your backend may crash right so only those api calls where the calls are of short size where the calls are not very heavy use them this is the one of the approach that you follow so now we'll jump into the coding part. So how exactly we have designed. So the very first uh, section is the view part. So if you see, we have a page and the page has a title, right? And then we have something called upload set. So within upload set, we have buttons, you know, to perform upload, download, version button. These all, you know, come by default in the, you know, uh, code reference section of SAP UI5. You do not have to like uh, learn this code. You don't have to actually, you know, remember how to exactly write this entire section of code. 
you can just copy and paste from either from our own blog or you can go to sap ui5 explorer section so anyhow just uh, after the copy and paste and the one more section that we have added is the v box here where we have a title and text area title is messages and text area to hold our messages all together fine so here one button is there like uh, on selection change is there and uh, i believe we have button called on upload section so on upload selected button the upload happens right so if i go to controller so by default in on init functionality you can see that we have sent uh, like save something by default it's like the button tooltip is empty and uh, the icons are you know attached so these type of functionality also we have copied from the default upload set uh, code section from sap ui5 explored and apart from that we have other like uh, selection changes there we are making enable and disable the version options so these functionalities are given by the upload section reason being you know if you are uploading same file multiple times so you can save versions in the back end so for, for that particular use case also you can download your own file to check it out uh, if the files are the same same one that you want to upload so like these uh, functionalities they have given so these are something we are not going to discuss in detail for us the important part is this particular section upload selected button so in this particular section we you see uh, we have something called a json model he, here we are going to catch all the you know calls responses like uh, success or error messages and then we have called upload set from the ui we are fetching the upload set by id and we are getting all the items and for each item we are performing the backend call right and uh, if there is a particular item then what we do is like we pass that item into the form data right and then we have ajax call here so ajax call is a standard approach of uh, jquery to do backend calls in that we have we are doing put calls you can give your api url here you can pass the form that you have created just here and uh, apart from that you do the mime type as the form data whatever type of uh, data you are sending you mention here and then we have something called headers so in sap ui5 read operation does not need security headers but the create update delete require because uh, we do not want it to be had we do not want hackers to use it so during read some headers are sent in the ui and the uh, editor's role or the developer's role is to cache that particular api the token and pass it here so we have also mentioned that you can get a security key from data model and once these are done then you might have two responses right the response of success or the failure so if it is success the response will come here and we get uh, all the pre previous messages whatever is in the model that we are having and then we just pass those messages here once again so what happens like if previous is empty it will pass my response as the first response if it is not empty what will happen it will concatenate the response that's why if you see by comma we have like uh, you will see a comma here a comma is here right like this you will see one more comma i believe so it keeps appending the comma and the data so we can actually leave it here yeah and then it does uh, set the model and this model is binded in the message box here so if you see this is the message model binding here and uh, once this is done same thing is copied and pasted into error the only difference is like we are uh, passing the xml http request dot response text that's the only thing that we are doing so now what happens we can just uh, do a refresh here and i can show you what is happening so i'll just uh, clear everything and i will open i will drag and drop files Mm -hmm. I'll go to network, clear everything. I have selected both of them. I will go to sources. So as of now, I am debugging to showcase what exactly is going in the backend. 
so this is a part right where we trigger our particular section i clicked on upload selected so i will go inside okay i believe uh, data is already sent so i will just try to do the call once again i would add one more debugging point so that i do not miss this time and i will do upload selected yeah so form is having our form data and the form is having all files also right Our file is there, and I will try to catch success and error. Second call is going on. So both call went all together, if you see, and uh, the responses also came all together. Just to showcase once again the entire uh, theory, I will do the upload started once again. So you need to observe one thing that. I close this debugging points. So my debugging point only caught here twice to this particular section. I will play once it will caught here twice again it is caught right, and then it came to error message altogether, and now it is catching the errors altogether. You see, so this is the way that you do a sync call. So if success will happen, it will happen altogether. If error will happen, it will happen altogether. The calls goes. in parallel that that's the only concept you need to understand and this way you do the coding you can replace this entire ajax call with your o data call also the the method of call will be same the the way that i am calling will be same it will be async right so that that's the, the only thing we wanted to cover in this particular video in the next video we will discuss the same concept using sync method like uh, you will be sending the files in the backend one by one So let us know in comment if you have any issue thank you very much